Well, welcome everybody to our next series for the She Speaks series. And today we have Jackie Holloway with us. Jackie runs Art by Jackie as well as Canvas Can Do Miracles. So you might remember we highlighted her a few weeks ago for her nonprofit Can Canvas Can Do Miracles. So thank you so much for being with me today, Jackie. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. So um, I would love to start off just with hearing your backstory and, and how you got to where the work that you're doing today. Well, actually, I am um, a recovered addict for 21 years, and that's how I really started um, the cam. Well, Art by Jackie as well. When I started the my recovery, I moved to Corrington, Tennessee, from Knoxville. And that's when I really started focusing on my art again. Mm -hmm. I've been an artist since I was three, but I kind of put it down after I had children and got married. And so going through um, a divorce um, I, and then trying to uh, recover from substance abuse, I um, moved to Corrington. And during that time, I found Job, which is a part of my story i was walking one day and looked down and there was a branch that looked like a person's body but the head was missing and the arms and were missing and hands and feet and it looks like there was a gunshot in in the back and so when i picked it up i just got a vision from god that it didn't matter what scars you have from your past you can use what's left and you can go on and do whatever you want to do. So I took that and I um, had it mounted and framed and I called him Job. And so when I started trying to do my artwork, the Lord gave me a vision. And he said that uh, there's a nation of people walking the streets here in Knoxville. And they're very talented, but they're, uh, abuse and substances and different things and they don't look right they don't smell right people don't give them time of day because of that and but they're so talented so he said if i would open the canvas can do miracles and he gave me the name and um he said that gave me the certain time to have it wednesday evenings and because these most people don't go to church and so he just wanted it where they could come and um so he said free food so they could eat when they got there so um i started doing art by jackie right after i was getting this vision and i was writing the goals and everything i wanted down trying to put it in a in a some kind of form uh, so i could present it to different people and uh so i started doing um selling my artwork but as a vendor your artwork um here in knoxville it was kind of difficult to sell art um we're not much of an art town but we're getting there but i tried to uh, implement some new products like my soy candles um they're all natural and skin safe so i started selling those and did very well and so the monies that I would make through Art by Jackie, we, me and my husband, we, in 2008, um, started contributing. And over time, we contributed about $25,000 towards Canvas Can Do Miracles. And in 2008, we had our fundraiser. So after the fundraiser, then classes started. Okay, so with the the classes that you're doing now, I, what has been some of the most inspiring or uplifting moments with some of the students you've worked with? Well, we just, and this is a, a very emotional part of my work is the relationship that I have with the students. And we just had a student to pass, um, not through COVID or anything. He had throat cancer. But 
the relation, he was one of my very first students and Michael was his name. And he uh, was just a very special man. And his passing just took us by storm this, this last month. And so um, when we do have, we're working on our website and he will be one of the first artists that we'll feature on the website. And I'm just so tore up that he's not here to enjoy it, but I'm, I'm sure everybody else will. His work is so great. And then we have other artists. Um, we have a mother of two who is struggling with uh, alcoholism and she just came back from rehab. We were able to get uh, some donations to get materials so that we can drop off materials to our 2019 class students and so that they can continue to do works so she is working on some new things and her work will be on the website as well and then we have a veteran he's from the he fought in the iraq war and he's uh, had back surgery some very um different kind of surgeries and so he's he he can walk but he's in a wheelchair most of the time a very, very good artist. And so you'll see his work. We also have a homeless gentleman um, that he has uh, some phenomenal work as well. So the first five, the first that will be on our website as far as the students, there'll be five students. There's another lady, she has four children and her children were taken from her because of she has epilepsy. So, some of her work will be in there. So a lot of my students have very sad stories, but through art, um, they are, are champions um, in life. Uh, and they're rebounding back through art, um, taking their talent and their skills and learning new techniques and learning new things. And the artwork is just phenomenal. So um, those are just some of the stories. There's many, many. Yeah. I mean, I feel like you could just write a book. I can. All of these, all of these people. Yeah. Um, I mean, one thing that you, you mentioned and you talked about in, when we shared your story on social media was this knowing that in society, these people get often overlooked or looked past or walked past and, and being someone who has been in that position as well. Um, I mean, what are some of the, even the small things that people can do to try to help themselves see these people and, and see past the, the, maybe the outward appearance of what's going on? Well, just know that that could be your sister, that could be your brother, that could be your father, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't see him as a stranger um, because everybody, I'm sure, if we have an in-depth conversation, um, you can go back in your family and someone's struggling with some type of substance abuse or some type of issue, some that has them at risk whether it's abuse, whether it's sex trafficking, whether it's um, being a, a veteran coming back with post, uh, what is it, PSD. PTSD, yeah. yeah. Yes, and so it just depends on, you know, who you speak to as to what type of at-risk person or, or situation your family is dealing with. And so when I first started Canvas Could, could do miracles, can do miracles. Um, I focused on substance abuse and the Lord said, no, said, if you start talking to people, um, that's some of the things, but that's not all the things that people are dealing with. And so that's why I opened it up to anyone can come, whether you have issues or not. Um, you can come and do free artwork because it, it really relieves stress. And because of COVID-19, I believe that a lot of people, whether they say it or not, are stressed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, to do art, you just give yourself a break away from all of that just for a moment and use your imagination and, and try to come up with 
uh, may, maybe it's a message. Maybe it is not a message. Maybe it's just doodling or whatever. So I feel like, and the, there's association, art associations that have done studies. And they came up with different um, results from their studies to say that art reduces depression and it uh, increases your self-esteem and your self-worth. And so with uh, different um, training and information and markets and networking, we can um, implement this into our community so that over time, art could raise our, our, our individuals in the community to a level that would be supportive for everyone because it, whether you're the mayor or the least, I believe you have a role in Knoxville. And unless we come together, everyone, um, we're gonna have some issues that we don't want in our community. I love that. I love the, yes, from one end of the spectrum to the other. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so talk through, I mean, you've uh, talked a little bit about it, but what is that experience like that you've created for people who come in the door for your program? Okay, well, the program, we have two classes, what well, we did. So we're, we're struggling to come back with COVID-19 um, type procedures, but before we had a Wednesday night and a Thursday night, um, they start at 5.30 and they end at 8. We feed you from 5.30 to 6.30, but if you come a little bit late, there's still food. And then you come in after we eat, and then we start with um, this past class. Uh, we started with the very basics, learning how to draw. And then we move um, forward doing uh, exercises, and then we let the students kind of decide if they want to work on something or if they want me to pick a topic. And last year, um, they worked on their own, but we submitted several works into the TVA and I fair. And um, one student got the best of show and uh, honorable mention. So we were very proud of Miss Audrey Wallace, who is our program director, and she teaches the children. Her class got best of show. And so we were very, very proud of her and her work. So when you come to the class, uh, we want you to feel comfortable in just the skills that you have, but all the materials are free. We supply you with everything. We also give you a kit to take home. And um, we were also able to give our five um, senior class members portfolios and art supplies, I guess totaling about $200 a piece so that they could continue with their work. But they submitted work um, this, this past May um, from their class last year. So those will be the first pieces that we'll have for sale on our website. And that's really what I'm trying to do is promote entrepreneurship and get the work out so that other people can see what talents these people have. So we're in the um, development stages of our website, um, the landing page, and then we'll go on with the buy button. And so those five students will be the first students to have work on the site that you can purchase. The prints will be $59. And um, if you want them framed, of course, you'll have to get them framed, but we uh, do have a framer, Geneva Gallery, is willing to frame for us, and we want to uh, advertise for, for them. But we also, um, once you uh, get your print from these fabulous artists, then if you wanted to contact the artists, you can. You could also get them to com do commission pieces for you. We want them really to be out there and start showcasing their work so this is just a um a way for them to get exposure of their work and their talents 
Okay. So um, basically a jumping off point to yeah. hopefully build their business. Exactly. Or, and if they don't want a business, that's okay. If they just want to do art, mm -hmm. that's fine. Um, I just want you to, to uh, have the tools to do exactly whatever you're led to do. And so we have some, like in class, if you are struggling with uh, alcoholism or substance abuse, we do have um, information so that you could get to a rehab. We also have a contract with uh, Covenant Counseling Center, and they're on the 640 building uh, here in Knoxville. And uh, they also are, are doing video um, uh, conferences. So if you wanted to speak to a social worker or something like that, then that's available to you as well. We're uh, in two, we were in two locations, the Avenue, which is on Magnolia, and they deal with a lot of homeless people and they have a worship service on Sunday. So um, that's some uh, avenues that we work there uh, with the homeless population. And then at Connect Ministries on MLK, uh, we work with a lot of individuals there that have coming out of prison. And then just the general public as well. So right now, we're not doing our classes. I'm preparing um, for uh, our website and trying to come up with a, a way that we can do our classes safely. And we're in a small location at Connect Ministry. And so we would be very limited with the number of students and that we could have in class so we're really working um looking for grants that can fund us so that we could get a bigger building our own building uh that would be fabulous so we're looking at some some things uh and applying for some things so that we could maybe have our own facility okay yeah, that would be fantastic. What? <laughs> but besides, besides, of course, having a building, um, what are some things that might be smaller things that you could really use help from the community on? Well, like the art materials right now, because everyone's at home, um, I'm trying to get as many supplies to the students so that, that they can continue to, to work at home. And so we did have Target to give us a nice donation, the Target in downtown West and the Target on Clinton Highway. Um, and so just any kind of materials, paints, canvases, um, you know, those type donations can always be used uh, because we go through a lot of paint. And then the children in, um, in our children's program, uh, Miss Audrey, right now, she is doing a neighborhood community garden. And so Home Depot and Lowe's has helped us with those uh, raised boxes. And so we have vegetables and flowers. And so um, those are some things uh, that can be donated as well. Um, and, and then art supplies for children as well, because we we want the children to continue to do art, even though we're not holding classes and once we have our website then we can do virtual classes online uh, that's what uh, we'll we're looking to do a master class where we have different um, regional and local artists to come and do a video and post it on our website to give instructions about different things that we're doing so look for that to be coming up very soon okay great do you have a um goal date in mind for the website to come on we're looking we're looking at the middle of july for it to be completed okay. um but, you know there's always this that and the other so i'm trying not to to put a date in my mind okay but i won't be disappointed <laughs> so in the meantime then for anyone who wants to has materials to donate or wants to donate what is the best way to get in contact with I would say just to email me. Okay. Um, at artbyjackie at att.net. But we also have our uh, email address for the Canvas Can Do Miracles, which is 
Jackie, J A C K I E, at C C D Miracles.com. Okay. All right. And I'll make sure to share all of that too with everyone for anyone okay. that's interested. Um, so, one thing I would love for you, since we are talking a little bit before we started recording, is about the painting behind you and the story behind that painting. Yes. Well, the stick figure that's in there is Job. That's a drawing of Job that I talked about at the beginning. And when I opened up the Canvas Can Do Miracles in 2008, I did this drawing. And a matter of fact, um, when I opened, Pastor Alan Jones, um, the local artist here in town, phenomenal artist, was able to offer me use of his studio there in the Literacy Imperative. And before I met him, I only did uh, drawings in pencil and, and uh, ink. I used no color. And so uh, when I met him and he gave me instructions, this picture behind me was the first color picture that I did with his instructions. And so it's called Promise. And it's um, and the peacock represents when I moved to Corrington and um, to get away from the, the urban life in in Knoxville. Um, I moved there and when I got to the rental place, there was a peacock just walking the grounds just like a pet and they called him pretty boy. And so this is a a picture of Pretty Boy that helped me in my recovery while I was in Corrington, both the Job and Pretty Boy, and they inspire me to just keep doing what I'm doing because I know there's there's too many people that are being held by back by different things and different issues of life, and art can free you. So this is just another representation of um, my journey. I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and you, so you talked a little bit about how you, you were an artist as a child and it stepped away from it because things in life happened and came back to it. So can you talk a little bit about personally for you, what art means to you personally and in well, your journey? Well, art, I believe that we are, um, as a human race, we are created and God created us all. And he said he created us in his likeness and his image. And so we're creators. We're all creators. I just, I just believe everybody can do that, but we tend to not uh, do the, any art because we look at other people's art and we say, well, I can't do that. Well, no, you can't, you can do what you can do, but it's just like writing. You used to didn't learn, didn't know how to write, but then you learned and you write different than everyone else. So you will draw or paint or whatever different than everyone else. And, but I just believe if you learn and you, you look inside to what uh, is inside you, there's a creator. It may be creating words po as poetry. It may be creating paintings. It may not. It just... It just depends. It may be uh, flowers, growing flowers. Um, but I believe everybody has a creative energy inside. And so me, um, I, I do it all. I'm all over the place uh, uh, with paintings, with, with uh, trees, with rocks, everything I think you can create from. Oh, spoken from a true creator. <laughs> there doesn't have to be one medium. <laughs> oh, no. um, so lastly, I, you know, I want to make sure whatever you know, you're working on right now or, or things you want people to know about what you're oh, doing yeah. is out there. So anything else that we didn't touch on, let us know. Well, matter of fact, um, I'm a member of the Emporium and art through the arts and cultural alliance and so their summer show member show is now and so it'll be at the emporium through july the first and then some pieces my piece which is upstairs will be there through august the 31st and that piece is 
named Sagittarius. And uh, that's my zodiac sign. Uh, but I, I just felt like that sky is a, a picture of this Sagittarius sky. And it's just beautiful. So that piece is at the Emporium right now. And also I did a portrait of a um, young lady here in, in uh, Knoxville. And so that portrait named, and it's titled Black, and it's a black, beautiful black young lady here in town. And so her, that portrait is in the Mayor Jacobs uh, office, in, somewhere in his office. I haven't been up there to see. Okay. Oh, that's a great. great. Yes, that's to the members show as well. Okay. So. Uh, those are just some pieces that are around town right now. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Jackie, for sharing your story and, and talking about the work that you're doing. And I hope mo more people now will, will know everything that you're trying to work towards and strive towards for the community. Well, I hope, I hope they'll keep their, their ear to the Canvas Can Do Miracles because we're trying to do some big things. Um, I would love to get a uh, facility where we could have gallery shows. So look for that. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. I know you have a few things cooking, trying to get that going. So yes, absolutely. We need that. We need that. Right. Thank you so much, Jackie, for being You're on. You're welcome. Thanks.